Nice mohawk. Look at you. Hey Keith, man. Uh, you know, looking back at that at the Pacquiao fight, there was a moment when you went back to the corner after the fifth. It was blood coming down your nose, and it was like this look in your eyes, like you regained yourself, and then you went on a run. You won six through ten. Mm -hmm. Do you recall it that way? And, and do you feel like you could dig deep again if if you need to in this fight with Barrios, like you did that fight? I've dig deep in plenty of fights. You know, um, that's just something that you caught. You know, so at the end of the day, man, you know, when I'm in there fighting, I'm in there fighting. You know, Keith Thurman don't got no quit. Keith Thurman don't got no back down, sit down, crawl into a corner, curl up, turtle shell. You know what I mean? You put me in a corner, I'm gonna find a way to fight out of it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, you put me under pressure and I'm gonna do my best to rise back to the top. So that night, I just felt a little bit of pressure. You know, I knew that I was capable of more and it was time to show it. So if that came right after the fifth round, that's all it was about, man, is that um, I, I, there was a little bit of hesitation going on, a little bit of a slow start. Things weren't happening my way and I had to do what I had to do to show the fight fans that Thurman doesn't show up just to perform, that I show up to win each and every time. Spence versus Ugas seems to be next. Uh, for Spence, yeah, uh, both of them. How do you see uh, that fight playing out? And do you almost maybe want to root for Ugas in the sense that you know he hasn't no. said anything about not fighting you, and Spence has? Okay, that part, yes. <laughs> but the other, the other part is, look, man, you, he can constantly say what he wants on an opinion. Let's get the. Let's, let, let Al write up the contract. Let him see what's really on the table. Is he really going to stay away from Thurman? Is he really going to avoid me that much? Does he got that much hatred? Look, at the end of the day, Ugas, Spence, great fight. Ugas, Thurman, better fight. Spence, Thurman, better fight. Thurman Crawford, better fight. Thurman versus your mama, great fight. Okay, <laughs> look, at the, at, the, at, at, the, at the end of the day, yeah, every fight. It's Thurman versus the world, baby. It's just me versus everybody. I don't, I don't know what you guys don't understand about that. It's Thurman versus everybody. This is what I'm here for. This is my life. This is my dream come true, to be a prize fighter. I love this. Win, lose, and draw, I still have fans. I still have a legacy. There's, I don't lose from this point on. I don't lose. There's nothing to lose. It's just a continuation of the legacy that I've already built for myself. Keith, if this kid's going to open up, if, if, this, if this young man's going to open up more, he seems more confident heading into this big stage that he did with mm -hmm. Tank. If he's okay. going to open up and let his hands go more, mm -hmm. is Keith Thurman getting a knockout Saturday night? Well, yes. You know, him wanting to step into the fire, he can easily get burned. But, you know, I like his wordplay, um, you say he has so much confidence, yet the young man wants 10 ounces and not 8 ounces. You know what I mean? So you got a lot of confidence, but you don't got 8 ounce confidence. You know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to just, uh, you know, check me. Thurman's weak to the body. Put the right size gloves on and hurt me, boy. Do, do it, boy. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Look, at the end of the day, he might have confidence, but I feel a little question mark in the background. Has, has that been resolved, the glove issue? Is, this is state of Nevada. You got to do your research. It looks like you, you uneducated on this topic. But um, at the end of the day, both fighters must agree. This is, I thought it was maybe only certain weight classes. I think this is across the board. The state of Nevada did this. We are a concussion-based sport. We've seen all concussion-based sports make adjustments throughout the years. Football is not the same. You know, um, it, it just isn't. And it's beneficial to the athlete. So I don't know what kind of conference they had here in the state of Nevada, but they adamantly made a decision that if both fighters do not agree upon eight ounce gloves, eight ounce gloves will not be issued in a fight. 10 ounce will be the mandatory glove size in the state of Nevada. So, you know, also he's moving up in a weight class. He knows he's facing a puncher. He could have took an easier fight. He took a challenging fight. Let's just take the 10 ounce gloves and let's have a great challenge. I respect that. I don't know the real philosophy behind it, but when you're given an option, it's an option. You have the right to say yes. You have the right to say no. He made his choice. It doesn't have, my opinion doesn't matter from this point on. I'm just here to show up, do my job and have a great fight right. Saturday night. Thanks, Thanks Keith. Have, have a good fight, Keith.